Oi, oi. We are back from Cheltenham from HQ today. We managed to get racing on the Thursday. So again, I'm going to go quick with the tips and stuff. I haven't got my phone stand, so sorry, I'm wobbling. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to quickly run through my bets. That's it. I don't want to give opinions and all that sort of stuff because you can see previews and those things before. Um, so let's just crack on with it. Again, thanks for the comments, the interaction. Nice to see so many of you at the race course today. Hopefully catch a few of you tomorrow. Please do like and also subscribe. I may upload a video tomorrow with any further selections in there or further bets. Um, so just subscribe and obviously you'll be notified for that. So let's crack on the Triumph Hurdle. I've got zero bet in it. I don't really know what, what I would do if I was going to have a bet. I do like Verban, but two to one-ish. <clears throat> I'm not 100% sold. So left that one really for now. That may be one other bet in. County Hurdle, I was pretty sweet on Jesse Evans. Um, ground maybe against him a touch, but I've still backed Jesse Evans. And I've also had a good bet on the State Man. So I think plenty of people have got State Man covered, haven't they? But this is the right race for him. Then we move on to the Albert Bartler. I've got a few in here. I back to the nice guy, um, Magnella Kakuna, because I think this is the right trip. And Chantreuse, because of the um, Mercedes Benz novice hurdle that he ran in. And good time, Johnny, because he supplemented. I just thought you were paying, connections are paying money for it. So I had a few quid on that. Then in the big one, the Gold Cup, only bet I've got is Manella Rindo. I still think he was a bet at the beginning of the season. I still think he's a bet now. So Manella Rindo in the Gold Cup. Fox Hunters, it's all about Bob and Co for me. I may look at putting things like Billaway and your Galvins and your Vobans and your Hillcrests into some sort of doubles and stuff, but I haven't done that as yet. So Bob and Co would be a good winner for me. Um, Mare's Chase, I've had a bit of a bet on Concertista. It's I, like I wouldn't be overly confident on it, but I have backed Concertista in the race. And then in the Martin Pipe, obviously we're all over the Goffa, who'd be a great result. Um, Freedom to Dream, I've got a couple of quid on. And Decimation as well one more just to touch on as i say i might do a video with more bets for for the friday in the county hurdle dan skelton was pretty keen on west cork being one of his best bets of the week um so i'm going to try and get a few quid on him he's about seven or eight to one i think so he will probably be a bet although i haven't currently struck it so again thanks for the interaction the comments the likes the subscriptions really do appreciate that hope you're all having a good week and i will either catch you for like a review or i might stick another bet up tomorrow so um yeah be lucky